Millions of Americans are affected by neurological disorders like multiple sclerosis. Even more shocking, twice as many women will be diagnosed. Many have their first symptoms as young as 20 years of age. I want to show everyone what happens when multiple sclerosis strikes. You're looking at the image inside of a human brain. Those are nerve cells. The yellow that you see is something called a myelin sheath. It's fat that protects the nerves, allows those nerve signals to travel without difficulty. Well, the body's own immune cells sometimes recognize myelin as a foreign invader. They send antibodies that attack the myelin sheath. They eat away at it, and then after that happens, the nerve signals don't travel properly. That's why people with MS have so many devastating neurological consequences. Well, like many of you, Michelle was a young, healthy mom. She never thought she would hear the words multiple sclerosis come out of her doctor's mouth. When the doctor came in and told me I have multiple sclerosis, it was a shock. It's, uh, it's devastating. It's, to have a doctor tell you that it's MS is uh, it's absolutely devastating. I kept wondering, how is this going to affect my relationship, my husband, my daughter? How am I going to be able to do things with her anymore? I'm afraid she's going to fall and hurt herself, and so she won't be able to do a lot of things. Six years ago, I had an accident that changed my life. I was coming out of a restaurant, and I got knocked over by a skateboarder. She just had this limp that just would not go away, and uh, that's when it all began. I knew there was something wrong with me, but the neurologist kept telling me, there's nothing wrong with you, Michelle. So they did an MRI on my brain, and that's how they found the MS in my brain. I have lesions on my brain. When I go anywhere, I have my cane with me. I have to pretty much walk looking down so I don't trip. If I don't have my cane and somebody else, I'll probably fall. I have a foot drop problem where I drag my foot constantly. I can't move it to make it uncaught, so once it gets caught, I'll fall. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay, honey. Just I gotta take a minute to rest. I can't put my shoes on. I have to really like lift my foot up in order to put my shoe on. Before MS, I used to do skiing, swimming, dancing, all those activities that I just can't do anymore. Where would I be without my husband? I'd be lost. My husband means everything to me. All he does is take care of me. I love my wife. I'll be there for her forever. So whatever she needs, you know, we'll adapt and we'll make do. The next medical breakthrough that is changing lives is called the Ness L300, and it might be able to make Michelle walk again. Dr. David Patterson, who's the medical director of Casa Clean Center for Rehabilitation, is here to tell us about this device. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. This is very intriguing to me because it seems to work, but I'm not quite sure I understand how. Sure. Well, it's a neuromuscular electrical stimulation device. In other words, it applies a current to the muscles that are usually affected with your ability to bring your foot up when you're walking. It's called foot drop. There's multiple conditions that affect it besides multiple sclerosis, like stroke, spinal cord injury, and traumatic brain injury. Now, it's important because this device works when a patient is walking. So, in other words, there's a sensor that goes underneath the heel and it has a, a device that senses where the heel is in space and then it sends the message to the stimulation device on the unit which is applied right here. And would it work on someone like Michelle? Yes. Well, everyone want to see Michelle and see if this device can help her? Yeah. Michelle, are you here? So you've been trying this device? Yes, I have. Not very long, though. Just a couple times so far. And what are your thoughts? My thoughts are it's incredible. It's a wonderful unit. It, it makes you lift your foot up when I never could walk. And this works for a lot of people. Absolutely. Stroke is the number one disabling condition in the United States. About 750,000 people a year in the United States will 
uh, suffer from a stroke. There's currently 400,000 people with multiple sclerosis living in the United States and 200,000 with spinal cord injury. So this device has a, a, a wide variety of neurologic disorders. It would, it'll help function. Well, Jana is another woman who's had incredible success with this device. She went from not being able to walk at all to hiking to the top of Diamond Head in Hawaii. Hi. That is incredible, Jana. Thank you for being here. <laughs> so you have the benefit of more experience with this than Michelle. Yeah, that's it's phenomenal. It's given me a piece of my life back. It's just amazing. <laughs> and I understand you were able to take another walk that you never thought you could could do, right? Did Without. you walk down the aisle? Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> and that's the great thing about a device like this, Lisa, is it gives people a chance who otherwise can't to do things like walk down the aisle when otherwise there's no other option. Correct. And that's, that's what is so neat about this device. Thank you and good luck with it. Thank you so much.